Meine Damen und Herren, Tatjana Efrusi. Ja, also ich bin sehr froh, dass ihr noch nicht ganz ähm, eingeschlafen seid. Und äh, also wie gesagt, Kunstlerin und Kunsthistorikerin und habe, äh, habe über Hannes Mayer geschrieben, Bauhaus und Sowjetunion, aber heute bin ich hier in keiner dieser Rolle, aber nur als Botin, weil ich habe eine äh, unglaubliche Ehre, ähm, aus Moskau direkt exklusiv einen offenen Brief äh, zu bringen. Äh, also ein, einen Brief, äh, geschrieben, verfasst von ähm, einer großen Immobilienfirma, äh, PIC. Also äh, ich werde das, dieses, diese, diesen Brief äh, vorlesen, auf Englisch. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, dear organizers and audience, the PIC company is happy to use the occasion of this event to share our experience of celebrating 100 years anniversary of the famous German school. Up. Yeah. The PIC company is the largest Russian real estate developer, implementing comfort class housing in 10 regions of Russia with a focus on Moscow and the Moscow region. Only here in 2019, the company is developing 47 construction projects. Now, the Moscow government is carrying on a program of the so-called renovation, which forces the radical densifying of urban fabric, and we are happy to receive the majority of the contract. The total revenue of the company in 2018 amounted to 33 billion euros. Today, peak land bank is 10.8 million square meters. It is crucial to note that we are not just grinding, uh, grinding out square meter. We do not erect buildings, we are creating environments of the new quality. It is important for us that people who live in our apartments would love coming back home every evening and would feel happy at home. One must build houses to fall in love with them. That is our philosophy. Now, <coughs> one of our global tasks is to transmit our values through what we do. We invest lots of energy in that. We do not limit ourselves to using every square centimeter in Moscow for construction, including nature protective zones or non-recultivated dumps. PIC has a PR strategy which is pioneering for the local real estate market. We use the variety of social media to promote our ideals and creations. We have created an on on online resource on architecture and urbanism, we sponsor the mass media of the liberal opposition and invite influential city bloggers and politicians to spread the smart and well-disguised advertising. Here one can see an image from a still from the um, a popular uh, sort of opposition uh, TV channel, TV channel Rain, which is available only online. <coughs> uh, this is the shot from uh, the office of, of PIC with its le leading architect who is only 27 years old on the left. <coughs> um, you, would not, you would not be surprised to learn that in 2018 we became the strategic partner of the leading contemporary art institution in Moscow, the private museum Garage. Garage is a popular and fashionable center for contemporary art in the popular and fashionable Gorky Park. We always insist, yes, we buy the city, its land, its administration, but in trend with the contemporary international practice today, we also need the flame of your love, people. That is why we're so happy to support the exhibition on the Bauhaus the garage was planning to host. Everyone knows that the Bauhaus for a young, educated culture consumer is like a smoothie on a hot summer day. <coughs> <coughs> Refreshing, high quality, trendy, comme il faut. To our disappointment, the Bauhaus exhibition turned out to be not that smooth. Too many texts, too much history, too many documents. Together with our colleagues from the Garage Museum, we decided to make it more accessible for the general audience through the special website. Its name referred to the exhibition title, but the design was somewhat fresher and more original. <coughs> we asked the collaborating experts to record the podcast on the Bauhaus history and uploaded them with their lectures. Next to them appeared a video tour through the exhibition, guided by, by our young and talented leading architect on the previous image, who also is familiar, uh, familiar with the Bauhaus. Of course, 
because we very much base our design method on Bauhaus principles, engineering solutions instead of decoration, advanced technologies, and attention to psychophysiological impact of colors and forms on a human being. Experts were not eager to include those impo important aspects in their materials. However, since the site appeared under our logo, the continuity of tradition would be obvious. <coughs> One of our initiatives was the photography competition. We decided to use the name of a closed workshop that was held by the experts during the exhibition to launch a truly popular Instagram flash mob. People were asked to photograph the buildings that seemed to reflect the Bauhaus style. Unfortunately, all those wonderful ideas had been spoiled. One of our construction projects was intended in Moscow, was intended for the Moscow district Kuntsevo. We bought that territory from the Moscow government together with low-rise houses that we plan to demolish and people who inhabit them. To our astonishment, a handful of inhabitants refused to move from their old outdated house to our houses to our colorful 30-story blocks and began to camp and block our destruction machines. We asked the private police to help evacuate them, which was soon joined by the state police, who arrested those dangerous rebels incapable to realize the unique chance to improve their life conditions. The social network started to discuss the affair, as well as the mass media that have not yet become our partners. Most bitter was the fact that the stupid protesters have spoiled our photo competition. They began to mark photos of their indecent fights against the police with our Bauhaus hashtag. Whereas it is clear to everyone that a truly beautiful architecture, especially in the Bauhaus style, has nothing to do with the politics, economics, or conflicts over the land ownership. <coughs> we were also disappointed that the old-fashioned experts did not share our enthusiasm about creative adaptation of their ideas. Neither did the exhibition curators, to our great sorrow, appreciate the trendy website design with our logo. In the end, we had to delete the platform, and millions of people around Russia were deprived of such valuable source of information about the Bauhaus and our company. We are happy that all those regretful events are over and to say together with you today, ciao, Bauhaus. We should not attach to the past. Life is moving on. The bloody Bauhaus has indeed corrupted our strategic, strategic partnership with Garage, but we are happy to announce that we have a new partner in the art sphere, the Multimedia Art Museum in Moscow, the center for contemporary photography in the very heart of the Russian capital. PIC provides new quality standards for economic class housing, and Multimedia Art Museum new impressions and changes our ideas about comfort life in the contemporary city. MAM is funded by the Moscow government, and we are sure that this new partnership will bring us even closer to the city administration. Moscovites will finally love us as passionately as we deserve. Thank you.